Yeah, yeah. Nuggets, I feel like I've seen Jim not play Palo Santo. Nugget's not actually going to go for the Roy Ditto here, although he did hover over it. Going to stick with the tried and true Daisy. If Nuggets is going to go a secondary in bracket, I'm almost certain it's going to be Fox. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. He's pulled out his Fox a couple of times. Once was against me. That'll happen. That'll happen. Uh, we're actually projected to play in bracket today, but I don't play this game anymore. So oh, <laughs> and there's the Nuggets lock. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a curse. It's just a curse. He actually siphons it, so uh, never never be near him too much. Yeah. But um, this is a classic matchup. Peach versus a sword. Uh, how Peach deals with it has a lot better tools to deal with it in this game. Uh, back air being one of the best moves in the game. <laughs> I would agree. Pre DLC, with pre DLC, I should say. Yeah, and um. Jim Nova actually getting the percent lead here. This is very good for him. We will have to see, though. But, I mean... That down air to fair, not going to take it quite yet. That was probably really, really close. Maybe one or two more percent, and that would have been it. But, yeah, Jim Nova doing a great job here. Just trying to trying to stay calm, trying to find his opening here. I mean, you know, jab back air. Ooh, great tomahawk. Not going to be able to do anything on it, but going to punish Peach's landing. One of the weakest parts of her kit would be her landing, so, you know, using up her there to try to punish the landing is a good idea. Not going to get the frame with the turn up, but still going to have Roy off stage, which is not where he wants to be. That was really smart from Nuggets, because I think he read the roll there, but his roll was just slightly too short to actually punish it, but still able to get something off him to push Jim Nub off stage. Oh, yeah, back that back air. Uh, that's a stitch face as well, by the way. Yep, that's uh, two. Count them. Yeah. Uh, two be, yeah. specials so far. It'll be a lot. And uh, what worry. you said about Nuggets siphoning luck, that's very true, because I was just playing KOM before this. Nuggets was watching our set, and KOM didn't pull a single special turn up. So I wish that was true, because I played KOM last week, uh, my first week back. And Nuggets was watching, and KOM immediately pulled a stitch face, and I'm like, you know what? I think Nuggets just siphons my luck, because, yeah. yeah but uh, catching out Peach's landing there with the uh, sweet spot uh, up air, going to take Nuggets first stock here. Yeah, however, uh, Jim Nub in the ledge trapping situation here, and Roy's recovery not the strongest, so we're going to have to see how well he can do against this uh, Paisley ledge trapping. Yeah, so what, what, what we notice a lot is to get around the uh, instant turnups, Nuggets has earned. Jim Nova's been kind of like stalling out with his double jump and then up being. So as soon as Nuggets picks up on that, uh, Jim Nova will instantly lose his stock. That was a good mix up there to do the instant one again. Not quite getting that turn up and down. I think Jim Nova needs to be careful when he's stalling off the ledge like that. Sometimes that turn up roll hits you on your two frame and you're like, did he really deserve that? The answer is no. And uh, he didn't deserve that either. <laughs> exactly. Jim Nova down almost a whole stock now. Nuggets just knowing he doesn't need to take this stock, just Chilling out, making sure he gets his hits in. Yep, he's going to get his hits in, and Nugget's another player who really likes the reactionary play style. Ooh. He's going to wait for you to do something and then use Hazy's many options to combo you to 60% to uh, or higher. get you there. Yeah. But um, that was a really good uh, armor upbeat by Jim Nub, and it's enabled him to get some momentum here. And if he can get this kill pretty soon, this game suddenly seems a lot closer. Absolutely, and we'll have to see where it all ends up at the end of the day, so... You know, Nuggets has been doing okay at keeping center stage. Jim Nub being a little not a little too forward. You know, yes, you're behind and you want to get that kill, but there's something about Ooh, center great stage. side yeah, B delay. Just holding center stage and waiting for your opponent to make the mistake so that you can get back there is yeah. what you need to do. And it's the same situation as the end of the second be, stock. Not going to be a just yet. Magnet hand's going to get there. Yeah. I like that air dodge. Yeah, that great, nice great. Air dodge. Um, Jim Nub's been doing very, very well at mixing up his recoveries here, actually. He needs to. I mean, when you play characters like Roy, Ike, you know, characters with very linear recoveries, you you have to be, like, professional at <laughs> mixing up your recoveries because it just is what you Ooh, need to do. Good air by Nugget's not going to be it just yet, yeah. though. 179. Jim Ooh, Nub's super armor? armor? Through that that and was, that's going to be it. I liked the idea. I didn't expect it. So, Nuggets probably did, and uh, it's unfortunately going to lead to Jim Nuggets losing game one. Yes, however, he did actually get some momentum going there at the end, so it's very possible he'll take one of our next games. Uh, we hope so. We like seeing more games yes, here. Exactly. Um, nuggets, I believe, coming in at the second seed uh, tonight. I would, I'm going to say yes, because I know uh, Unleashed was first. So. Yeah, Nuggets' second seed sounds uh, accurate to me. 
which I believe puts, okay, yeah, that, that adds up in my head. So, I think uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. Uh, depending if Jim Nub played to his seed, I'm not sure who Jim Nub has played in brackets. He played, he beat Troya to get here, and I doubt Troya would be seated over him, so. Correct. Seven seed would, uh. At least seven, we'll say. I, mean, I don't know what part of the bracket we're on, unfortunately. It's uh, winner's quarters. Winner's quarters, yeah, so that's seven we'll seed. Um. So we'll see where that. And uh, Smashville for game two. Our two competitors exchanging some quick blows right off the bat, but Nuggets coming away with almost a 30% lead. And uh, this ledge, tra oh, that is unfortunate. That is, yeah, he missed the tech sometimes. for the get up attack, and uh, Jim is gonna take the lead here. Not sure if he completely deserved it, but uh, nonetheless, let's see what he can do to Remember, capitalize. If you put the burden of execution on your opponent, you did deserve it. <laughs> yep, exactly. They should have hit that tech. <laughs> should have tech. And, and a Mr. Saturn, that's number three. I feel like in Smash 4, Mr. Saturn was a lot more relevant because shielding was much more of like a thing you did. Yeah. But in Ultimate, you don't shield nearly as much as you did in Smash 4. So Saturn, a little, a little nerfed, but still great for comboing. Becker almost going to take it there. Um, yes, however, uh, Jim Nook able to get back and build some more percent on Nuggets. And every hit counts here. Honestly, as long as he can hold on to this stock, he's doing very, very well. Yeah. Uh, That's not going to be it. Something I do it. want Jim to be careful of is that he's, he, I like using the armor of the upbeat to try to get yourself back on stage, but as soon as Nuggets just waits, you are a you are a sitting duck because you are in free fall, and it is not going to be fun. But Nuggets going to take his first stock there. Um, still a solid percent lead. Ooh, the Jair, Jair back here, not, not be quite yet. Just yet. <laughs> Uh, 98, however, to two, and if Jim Nub can take this here, he's in a pretty solid position to take game two. Absolutely, so we'll see however, where we end up. You have seen how much Nuggets can do off of one hit. I think and he adds a, there's no jump. Oh, he did have he his did jump, wow. Very, very good job saving this jump by Jim Nub. I would have jumped like six minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> as would have I, as would have I. <laughs> But um, 126.55, Nugget's getting some more damage, but if Jim Nub wants to win this game, he's gonna have to get this killed quite soon. Yeah. Um, and get off ledge. And <laughs> try to get back some center stage control here. Ooh, Ooh, great yeah. trump, great trump. And that's, that's gonna the thing. be cool. And it, it happens a lot with people who have to mix up their recovery so much, is once they finally get to the ledge, they're like, all right, let me take a breather real quick just to think about my next option, because yeah. I do that a lot against when, we, when oh, I play against play uh, I mostly play Robin. Today in bracket, I went Rosa, because I also really like Rosa, so. Rosa's such a cool character. Yeah. But, I um, personally don't have like the knowledge or skill to play her, but seeing people play her is always very cool and great. I like going down there, play. yeah. I like going down there because once Peach goes low, she really does only have double jump into Parasol. She can stall it a little bit with Float, but as long as you get to where her double jump is, you're go you're going to be able to catch out either before Parasol or uh, just catching her Float. And a uh, good up out of shield, that is a true punish for most of the stuff that uh, Nuggets is going to be doing on Jim Nub's shield. So this percent building here, and on Smashville, Roy, there's a lot he can do to kill pretty early. And F-Smash, read a side B? Probably not a side B right now, but like 20 more percent, 10 more percent? Yeah, that's going to be killing there. Um, but another big thing, too, is uh, I'm not sure about the stage selection. That's I actually know. I'm not sure what Nuggets would have banned B, because I really love your He Roy. definitely banned Town. Yeah, I really like what Roy can do here, um, like using up B to land like as a first option to get out of a sticky situation yeah, because it has land on the platform. and you can land on the platform without putting yourself in free fall. So I, I do like the stage choice here. And Jim Nub's jumped to avoid that same situation twice. Yep. The down throw to up air, so possible Nuggets will catch him out if he does it a third time. However, Jim Nub, the one at ledge, is going out, not going to be hit quite yet. Great parasol by Nuggets, but that there, side yeah. B will not take it because it wasn't the sweet spot. Wow. It wasn't the sweet spot. And that back air will. Yeah. Great plays by Jim Nub getting that uh, last hit in there. Yeah. Very close game two. And we're going to have to see where we go for game three. Game three. I don't think we go back to Smash Definitely. Bro. I don't think Hollow Bastion's on the field. We're going to see. Probably not Town either. Or definitely not Town either. Yeah. So we're going to see probably Jim Nub banning Triplats and maybe FD. Yeah. Triplats FD is probably the best to go for here. So I actually don't know if Roy would prefer small battlefield and PS2 over Triplats, but we just I have I think to they it. help Roy get off ledge is the big thing. Those 
Um, and uh, as I'm hearing, I believe they're going to run it to small battlefield. Yeah. Nuggets has music selection, so that's uh, that's why Nuggets prefer small battlefield. Um, so we will see what happens with that because Biplats are good here because they help each extend her combos. Uh, but it will help Jim Nub get off ledge a little bit more. Not as much as Kalos Biplat layout. Kalos Biplat layout oh, yes. is really just a get out of jail free card for ledge sometimes. Absolutely, those platforms can save you in a pinch. Happened to me more than once. <laughs> was that a stitch? No. Okay. Um, I believe that was the um, the one that looks like a special turn up, but isn't. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Um, this is another one that looks like a special turn up, but isn't. <laughs> um, but uh, Nuggets. Gonna He's grabs by yeah. Jim Nub. Gonna take some damage there from the grab. Just you know, the continual sword combo is gonna hurt a little bit. Sometimes you just have to take this percent and regroup for your next one and wait for it to be your turn. But again, calling out the landing from uh, Nuggets is gonna be the big thing here. Eighty-two percent um, overextending with that edge guard, but overextending once again with that side B to uh, negate it. Yeah, I um, I think Nuggets was trying to punish the uh, before the final hit came out with dash attack, but really you could just shield there and you'll be completely good to go. But landing with the double edge dance again, not gonna do very well into that pretty sizable percent lead. Uh, yeah, the first two hits are always safe. Um, and so that was good stopping there, realizing Nuggets had shield up. Yeah. I don't like that neutral be that much. I like. I think you have to charge it a little bit more for it to hit below ledge, right? I'm not too positive, but that sounds like it's right. Yeah. So, um, a little egregious with that dash attack, but honestly, just trying to fight his way out of the corner, which I believe is the right decision here. Oh, and yeah, yeah. See, those side B or those up B burst options are what's really gonna hurt. Missing that turn up there, I think that actually would have got it if it went below um, below stage. Uh, I believe nuggets. so as well. And good getup attack. That's the first time he's done that. Yeah. Is that gonna be up throw? And it will, but not kill. Yeah. Up throw, like it'll show the red sparks, but it is really hard to kill with that move just because it's so like it's influenced so much by DI that you can basically like you saw Nuggets go like you know really yeah. far to the left. And there. that Nair would kill if it's the sweet spot. However, Jim Knob only gonna get the sour spot, and that up throw should right, do it. Show, and yes, yeah. it will. No amount of DI will save you there. <laughs> yeah, Jim Knob, very very good job taking this first stock and doing very well here actually. 42 already. It's just the uh, you know low combo percentage before you can really get your opponent pretty consistently up to about 40 to 50 percent. So now that he has that, it's just you know biding his time a little bit more to find the, oh, the air dodge. Yeah. But I would like to point out that double edge dance to land by Jim Nub was very very good. Yeah. Uh, it's what caught out Nuggets before. He hasn't really been doing it too much this side. It's crazy how that jab corrects. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> That's, uh, that was so nice. And uh, Jim Nub actually. One stock away from taking this uh, set. Yeah, one stock away. Um, I think, yeah, just not a great um, situation for Nuggets being right now, but he's really gonna have to take his time here, you know, and try to get this percent. He's gonna have to, that was really good. Yeah, waiting for the aggressive oh, option, and getting the turn off. He's gonna be able to get back still, but just keeping him on ledge is where Nuggets wants to be, because eventually it'll lead to a kill. Ooh, that was, that was a greedy roll. Um, yes, indeed. But sometimes against Roy, no option feels correct because he can just jab most of your uh, options. And if not, he can hit you with an F smash or he can kill you at 40. Yep. So. Jim Nub, these Tomahawks. That's, and that back air, not going to do it just yet. Can Nuggets get the turn up? And he does. And he gets another one, and that's going to be it. It's going to be it, yep. However, 88%. Yep, so Jim Nub, you know, one good first combo away from getting it. Ooh, re-grabbing the turnip there. I'm not sure if he meant to do that, but gonna have it, gonna get rid of it, and get back on stage. Has to run away a little bit, can't quite get the control he needs, but you know. Good down tilt. Yeah. Not gonna commit to the tech chase. That would have been it if he didn't. Goes, that was, oh! That was, that was so unfortunate. That is tragic. Yeah, that is, I like the idea. Oh. Um, I think it was a 